How many orbitals does neon have? First of all, terribly worded question. Technically, all atoms have all orbitals. What your teacher is probably asking is how many of the orbitals actually have electrons in them, and specifically in the ground state. Of course, you can always promote electrons to higher energy levels by exciting them, but that's not what we're here for. Let's take a look. Neon is here in the second shell or second row of the periodic table, and it's in the eighth column, which means it has eight electrons in its valence shell. So if you're into electron configuration diagrams, you can just start piling yourself up. You got your 1s, you got your 2s, you got your 2p, you got your 3s, you got your 3p, etc., etc. Now I'm just going to jump to the answer, then I'm going to show it to you with quantum numbers. Neon needs 10 electrons total, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm counting up to 10. And by the way, I'm spreading them out before I double them up. That's, uh, I think, Hun's rule or something. 8, 9, 10. Okay, so the answer to how many of the orbitals are occupied is one, two, three, four, five. There are five occupied orbitals for neon. The end. Now, we may have been able to figure that out another way. Neon is in the second shell, which means that it's the n equals one level is full and the n equals two level is the valence or outer level. I'm not saying it's not full because it happens to be here for a Nobel ga noble gas. When n is 1, l has to be 0, and then ml is limited to 0 as well. When n is 2, l can be either 0 or 1. When it's 0, ml is limited to 0, and when l is 1, ml can be negative 1, 0, or 1. This is why the S subshells only have one orbital, see? And the 2S only has one orbital. But the 2P has three orbitals. And the fact that we need 10 electrons total for a neon is why we have 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. 2 plus 2 plus 6 is 10. For a neon. The point is, here's your five occupied orbitals, and you can figure it either from the electron configuration diagram or by counting the number of options that you have for ML. You just have to be careful that, uh, you know, they all have electrons in them. If you were given another atom that didn't fill this entirely, maybe a couple of these wouldn't be fully occupied. You never, you never know. All right, thanks for being with me. Hope it made sense, and best of luck.